Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Expeditions Rome. We have an observatory up here to visit. We also have uh, Eberona's cave to uh, get the sickle from a Gallic chieftain. Uh, and we also have a min here for Deweyaticus. Uh, let's go ahead and track that one. Um... Because that's up this way, and I kind of want to get up there and explore this area. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the Calling Card. As you arise in the morning and leave your tent to prepare for breakfast, Marcus Aurelius approaches you with a dark look in his eyes. He hands you a small stone with familiar symbols written on its smooth surface. Wixie. Aurelius explains that he found it next to his bed just now. Discuss amongst your among yourselves what this might mean, but no clear conclusion is reached. However, a few hours later, Aurelius begins to sway in his saddle and nearly falls off before he's caught. Light torso injury. The diagnosis is clear. Poison. Somehow this wixy somehow those wixy bastards snuck into your camp at night. You're lucky they did nothing worse. Yeah, I, in fact, like why did they not just stab me repeatedly? Uh, let's see, do, 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 24 hours, four medicine per treatment, though, yuck. Alright, what is, uh, what is our legion doing? Turning to an outpost, ah, uh, they're going over there to attack that, okay. Uh, hello? Got some treasure. A, a Stalker Bow 2. And it is pristine, but it's only two. Lugdunensis discovered, okay. Come on over here. Alright. Legiwitrix attacks Arwerni army in the uh, Pyrenea region. Let's go ahead and uh, proceed. Minus four, minus one, minus one. Okay. So we've got a loot reward common already. A Legion morale minus five. Uh, insubordination risk 27%. That's not great. Uh, but we can eliminate the morale penalty with that. So let's go ahead and take that. Minus five, huh? The men are awaiting your orders. Protective testudo. Need your manpower. Missing legionari. That would get me a lot of stuff. Let's hope that we get a uh, an equites one then. Let's take that. Enemy morale minus five. Manpower minus one fifty. Legion Morale, 9. Missing Legionary, minus 50, is not too bad because uh, we get some of them back. Alright, minus 2, minus 5, plus 2. Okay, that's the enemy. less than ideal. Uh, inexorable Square, Loot Reward Legendary, I'll take that. That's not bad. On the other hand, uh, Fortification Gambit. No, I need to use this when, when it's really going to matter. Let's still get the uh, Legendary Loot Reward. Let's get... We'll take Legion Manpower minus 50. That's fine. And we got a plus 9 earlier, I think. Okay, minus three, plus one, minus two. One of our manipoles is about to break! Okay, I need... Let me defense. Kind of wish I didn't have both of these, because they're the exact same. So I'm going to take in Legion Manpower minus 150 either way there. I think enemy defense is better. Okay, two minus four, minus one. 
So victory. Enemy aggression doesn't matter. Um, resource gain, Legion morale plus 12 is pretty nice. Alright, so that would eliminate everything, get Legion morale plus 12, which is really about all that I can do. Uh, Legion, uh, recovered Legionari. Resource gain. I'll take the resource gain. Alright, no one died. Okay, 10 experience, 16 morale. Uh, 132 denarii, 26 slaves, uh, 33 rations. We get a, a common loot cache, 89 good salvage, 289 uh, spoils of war, and a legendary uh, loot cache, diamond shield 2, and camouflage coke 3, which is only good. Let's just break those down. A lot of that I'm, I want for the pristine salvage at this point. Good salvage, too, but obviously pristine salvage is a little bit more important. Alright, so we... Oh, we actually only need to... Yeah, let's go ahead and switch over to that. Alright, so let's see. Food. 100 food. Region's food supplies are running low. Uh, supplying the region with rations uh, will help... Cement your control there. Uh, send your speculatores to gather local support and insert themselves into positions of leadership. 50 and 25. Okay. Or 100 gold. By the loyalty. So that's uh, 12 hours, that's 6 hours, and that is 3 hours. Um, I think that that is... Fine, all right. You are returning to outpost. You're idle now. Go ahead and take that one. I think that's the uh, better choice. Uh, add piercing damage three. One oil jar, one common wine, 55 small coin purse, 83 a large coin purse. Alright, Sector Conquered. Very nice. So, Lugdunensis Village is a minor village within the region of Lugdunensis, belongs to the Eberronis tribe. Despite its modest size, the farmland here is quite fertile and the position is quite central. Um, Alright, so... Is that the village? That is the village. I don't want to do that yet. Aurelius has been healed. Very good. Uh, add piercing resistance three. There we go. One staff grip, one strong armor rings, ten loose coins. A, det a detour. It's been a fairly uneventful day uh, until the path you were following is swallowed up by the dense wilderness ahead. You consult your Praetorians, and together you decide to press on, as doubling back may cost you a day or more of travel. Of course, in this place, wilderness is never just wilderness. Soon enough, there is a sharp snap and a miserable howl of pain, as Bestia has stepped into some old hunting snare. His friends free him quite easily from the trap. The injury doesn't look too bad, but it's clear that his leg will need more than just a bandage. Truly, you may never catch a break. Yeah, just a uh, random injury. Alright, go ahead and start treatment. Two per treatment, at least. That... 
isn't too bad. I'm a little worried about water. I'm gonna need to see where we have a, uh, a well that we can visit. All right, so let's go ahead and get the uh, hunting kicked off first. Fifty XP. Ah, uh, the return to outpost. All right. All right, they're idle at the outpost now. Okay, let's go ahead and buy some medicine. Need that. We'll start getting the uh, infrastructure built up. Sixty-seven medicine. All right. All right. They're idle at the outpost. Let's see. So we need two farms, two tanneries. So let's go ahead and start with this uh, tannery. Okay, there's some hunting grounds. Nemesis, despite the beauty of these lands, it's easy to let your thoughts drift while you travel. You've made your way into an area where the terrain is dense and the paths twisty. Seemingly, seeming to reflect your environment, countless thoughts of uh, strategy, uh, troop movements, and politics crowd your mind. You're shaken from your reverie by the dull twang of arrows, leaving bowstrings. Your Praetorians raise their shields and throw themselves off their horses without even thinking, avoiding the worst of the volley. You can't help but grind your teeth in anger as you see that the men who emerge from the wilderness around you are unmistakably Roman. It's Wixie. You have no time to order your people around. You must fight alongside whomever was near you when Wixie struck. Ah. Hope one of them isn't Bestia. Since he is injured right now. Well, at least it's daytime. Alright, so who do we have? All right, it is literally uh, all of my uh, and the rest, guys. All right. There's you back there. Eight to kill, huh? Might be some more hidden that I can't see. I don't know. Or it just might be that there are eight. Um. <laughs> this will be fine. What's the flags? Ah, they get to move first. Okay. Really ran far there. Also running far. Get in formation. Romo in Victor. Oh goody. The line. I'll get behind them. Oh goody. Hi guys.
boop. Oh, oh, oh wow. You're both dead. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, um... Can you do reach on him? Yes, you can. Okay, 11 damage. Take care of that shield. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Nice. Um, I kind of want to go up there and shiv that guy. Let's go ahead and cheap shot myself. Mmm. Mmm. His arm went flying. I love it. Alright, I'm gonna marathon. In fact, I should probably just marathon up to that guy. Hi, sir. I'm coming to sneak attack you. Okay, I guess I'm not coming to sneak attack you. That's that's rude. It's very rude. Expected more. Humiliating slash. Get poisoned and he's routed. All right. Can't see the target. What if I? Got back there to murder. Yeah, because that guy has tactical move. I'd rather get you dead, sir. The bigger they are, the faster they fall. There we go. Three damage. One glancing. One glancing. Eh. Eh. Alright, let's see. Sneak attack. That is uh, 12 to 20. So hey, he's panicked. I don't need to worry too much about him. Let's get down here. Go ahead and savage. Whoa, I, will taste your blood. I don't know if his blood tastes very good, though, sir. Five dig. Alright, one. Almost got all of them. Anyone else have anything that they can do? Come on, Dreddy, can you still move? No. All right. Well, that guy's panicked and he's poisoned. It's too much. We're losing. <laughs> you don't say. Ah, I'm just gonna ship him. There we go. Ah, feels good. Use some items. Use some items. That's okay. All right. 
What goodies do we get? Uh, seven loose coins, 16 loose coins, Gladiator Armor 3, and Heavy Lorica Hamata 3. They're both pristine. I will take both of those. One packed lunch, one packed lunch. Uh, a Gladius 3 worn, a base damage 8. Gladius Armor 2, regular. Break that down. Linen 1, a packed lunch 2, packed lunch 3, and loose coins uh, 5. Alright, then this guy had some stuff. A good scissor. Scissor 3. Nope. Pugio 2. Worn. Nope. Uh, 21 loose coins. Alright. Anything in the cave? Didn't actually realize that that was a cave. No? There's a box there, but I can't actually open it. Alright, looks like there's nothing to actually uh, do here. Alright. No other loot. Which is always a shame. Uh, guys, come on out of the cave. What were you doing up there? Silly people. Go ahead and leave the area. You know, I, I do feel like uh, Wixie should maybe be thinking twice about this when Elmandretta can just run up and murder half of their group in one turn kind of thing. It's an old tannery. Men here merchant. Predictably enough, you find the men here merchants in a clearing in the forest. A large men here propped up a uh, propped against a tree uh, while two Gallic warriors are uh, chatting cordially next to it. One of them is diminutive but rather animated man with an impressive helmet. The other is quite possibly the largest human being you've ever seen. They seem to be locked in a heated discussion in their own language. You don't understand a word. Salway, we're looking for the men here, merchant. I'll go ahead and remain silent. Uh, from their gestures, you surmise that the topic is drinking. The large man clearly wants to drink from the diminutive one's flask. His friend firmly refuses. Uh, take out your wine flask and offer it to the large man. They both look at you, utterly confused. Then they start laughing. Large man starts repeating a phrase. You gather he thinks Romans are crazy. Using his fingers, the little one indicates how much denarii you'd need to purchase a man here. It's a lot of money for a rock. How about we kill you and just take them in here? Hmm. I don't have that kind of money. Is, uh, isn't there anything else you need? Let's ask that. Uh, the little one is confused, but the large one points towards his stomach. He then says the word boar, or so you think. Nothing I can do for you, big man. You send someone out to hunt a nice boar. Not best, yeah. Um... Send out Terracidius. Thanks to Terracidius' skill with the bow and arrow, you quickly hunt a very large boar. The big Gallic warrior looks very happy indeed. Without another word, the mismatched pair leave. The men here is still sitting right there against the tree. It will not be easy to transport. Okay. Kind of expecting it to be an item in here, but it is not. All right, so I am low on water. Uh, let's come in here and see if that is going to. You're right, I'll let the outpost. Let's see if that will replenish it.
I'm gonna get outside and then uh, go in, save it, and go in. Vestia has been healed. And the waterfall. Uh, deep in the mountain land, mountainous landscape, there are many unexpected hazards for the unaware. Today, however, you are pleasantly surprised by a magnificent waterfall above a crystal clear lake full of fish. It looks surreal and very inviting. Let's fish and refill your water. Gain water 50. Okay, gain rations 10. The water in the lake is sweet and clean. You spend some time filling your pouches and fishing. The dinner tonight will be a fit for kings. Alright. 50 water is actually uh, quite a bit more than I expected. Alright, we don't need to go in there then. Alright, gain to farm, return to outpost. Okay, there's a Legion mission. Alright, but it is about time to end the episode. Uh, it looks like we're actually pretty close to the northern part of the map. So there might not be a whole lot left beyond here. But there's still a bit of exploring left to do. So when we come back next time, uh, we'll go ahead and do uh, just that. See you then, everyone.